Okay, hi everybody. It's uh, day two of our expedition, and uh, on the way in, we stopped uh, to check out these uh, little herd of uh, white-tail antelope. I believe they are. They seem pretty curious about us, so we stopped uh, to say hi. Uh, once we got to the site, uh, we got our packs on and, and headed out to, to our first site. And as you can see, when I zoom in here, you can see our uh, some stuff we left over the night before. Uh, and what we're going to do is we're heading to the site uh, to do some uh, plaster jacketing of uh, a couple things we left over the night before. So uh, here's more of the kind of the basic process. Uh, what we're doing now is just that same large uh, specimen of hydrosaurus, uh, or I'm sorry, hydrosaur. Rib bones. We've uh, rolled the rock over. Uh, we did the plaster jacketing on the top half the day before. We're now doing the bottom half. So the first step is to clean it a little bit like I did, get all the mud off. Now we're putting uh, aluminum foil around it. Basically, what we're going to do is cover all the exposed uh, rock area with aluminum foil. And uh, once we uh, get the foil on there, we'll, uh, we'll add a little bit of uh, duct tape, probably a couple pieces just to hold the uh, foil, make sure it's nice and secure. You can see the duct tape's on there now. And uh, at this point, we're uh, mixing up some um, plaster. There you go, you see Stacy putting the bag down. Um, they're uh, behind him, mixing it all up by hand. Uh, once it gets uh, the right consistency, which is kind of just an experience thing, uh, we'll then uh, start uh, using pieces of burlap strip here. You guys are so good. And as you can see, I'm getting it close here. Okay, so right now I'm, I'm using strips of burlap. I'm soaking them in the plaster. We're then going to, uh, I'm going to hold it up. Don's going to pull down on it and, and strip off the excess. We'll have a nice uh, coated strip of burlap. And uh, basically, here's a little close up uh, of what that looks like. Where they're just going to stick that on around the, uh, the rock and just kind of wrap it around, and uh, we're going to do that to the entire uh, piece of uh, fossil at this point until we get it completely coated. And then once we get it uh, completely uh, jacketed, uh, we're just going to let it uh, stay dry again, and uh, probably uh, tomorrow or the next day uh, we'll actually uh, try to drag it back. Uh, so if you find our bodies the, out there, at least the, uh, everything truck. will be tagged. So. And, <laughs> and it's a little bit of a messy process here, as you can see, but uh, basically just uh, what's left over here and uh, our last piece of burlap again, we're going to coat it nice and uh, thick like you're doing laundry. and then just uh, coat every exposed uh, piece of uh, all right. yeah. that's <laughs> you can see right on the top it's still the yeah, bottom down there you know, we're just covering over the aluminum foil again and then we'll do the, uh, uh, the top uh, as a last piece. Okay, one thing I did not mention but I think you guys might have figured out is there's a hollow spot, tuck it into the hollow spot and uh, that's JP uh, giving us some uh, advice there. Obviously, he's been doing this for 20 years, and put we've been doing it for about uh, one day. I'm going to put them right there. I'm trying to figure out a way to uh, clean my hands, and Stacy actually looks like a, uh, a good way to do that. Okay, this is later on in the afternoon. What we decided to do is just go prospecting, which is a process of wandering around looking for new sites. And this is me. I discovered uh, this piece of uh, uh, hadrosaur uh, frill. Uh, and that little uh, orange piece of it is what was sticking out of the ground, which uh, caught my eye. I went over there and found a lot of pieces of little bone uh, laying around, which clued me in that that was a good site. And then I uh, started exposing that area, and uh, little by little, you got to see that entire area uh, exposed. And sure enough, it, it ended up being a frill. Uh, okay, guys, uh, two quick corrections on... Uh, some of the things I talked about earlier in the video, for those of you who are paying attention and or are actual paleontologists, uh, the first fossil we were working on is actually a uh, hadrosaur, not a hydrosaur, as I called it. And the second one is, is that frill that I uh, discovered late in the day actually comes from a triceratops, uh, not from a hadrosaur. Uh, sorry about that. 
I'm an astrophysicist, not a paleontologist. Uh, I'll try to do better tomorrow. Thanks.